Hi, I'm Mike Griffin. If you are thinking about buying a recreational vehicle, RV, you may have already realized that you have a lot of work to do. There are hundreds of answers you want to, about everything from the type of RV you'll buy to the type of energy used to run its stove. The details number in the thousands and understanding them all can be pretty overwhelming. There are a great many websites, blogs, books, and articles that explain everything you'd ever want to know about RVs. You can also attend seminars, go to RV shows, and spend time with seasoned RVers learning from their experiences. Coming up to speed about RVs to the point where you feel comfortable buying one can take years. I became interested in RVing many years ago and decided that I was going to educate myself as much as possible before retirement so that I could make the right decisions when the time came to buy. After a decade of attending RV shows, reading many books and articles, subscribing and contributing to RV forums and talking to serious longtime RVers. My wife and I finally chose the RV of our dreams. Now, a few years later, I think it'd be a good idea to share a lot of our RV research, condensed into a series of shorter videos that will answer a lot of the typical questions we see potential buyers ask on forums and in person at RV shows and rallies. We've rented RVs several times in the past and have owned our own for several years. So it wasn't too long, too long ago that we were involved in the entire process of selecting and buying and accessorizing camping in our first RV. You know, you can read 20 RV books, browse 200 articles, numerous Facebook pages and dozens of blogs and forums. You can view a few hundred videos and interview experienced campers and assemble all of the information in one place. Or you can let me do a lot of it for you. All you have to do is watch the series of videos I'm calling RV Digest because they are all a digest of great information. Now, before you watch your first video, let me explain where the information comes from. Facebook has quite a few groups, public and private, dedicated to RVing. For many years, I've subscribed to a lot of these Facebook groups and have read them daily, almost as quick as new posts are added. Here's a sampling of some of the RV groups that I'm subscribed to. There's RV Tips, I have over 10,000 members. Big Rig RV for Big Rigs, RV Routes and Campgrounds, Full-Time RVers, 50 and Over RVers, RV Blogs, Newmar Motorhome and Fifth Wheel Owners, because I'm a Newmar owner, but there are groups for every sort of uh, vehicle. RV Boondocking, Full-Time Diesel RVers, RV Interior Ideas, Living the RV Dream, Nomadic RVers, RV Life, RV Hacking and Camping Ideas, RV Park Reviews, Internet for RVers, RVing up the East Coast, Florida RV Camping, Concealed Camping, it goes on and on. There are a lot of RV groups on Facebook. Every day now, for the past six years or so, I've received notifications whenever anything was posted to any of these groups and have usually stopped to read what was said. In the process of doing this, I've learned a lot about the questions that current and potential RVers ask, and more importantly, the most popular answers that are given. One of the best resources on the internet for RV information is IRV2.com. By reading and participating in this forum for a couple of years, I've seen a lot of great suggestions and solutions to common issues and problems. This is just an intro to several others that will feature popular, popular RVing questions and answers. These digests will have questions that are often posted on Facebook. The answers will be my opinion as to what the most popular answers are to the questions. Even if I don't personally agree with a popular answer, I'll tell you what I think because it will allow you to hear a bit of our experience and why we might think otherwise. If you are so inclined, I challenge you to post one of the questions yourself. I think you'll be pleased to see that the consensus online will either match the answer in these videos exactly, or it'll be very close. The questions are grouped in separate videos so that you can better select an area of your immediate interest. To make it even easier, I'll try to overlay some of the pictures and links to some of the websites that will be mentioned. Each answer will consist of several parts. First, I'll provide any background needed to understand the question better. Next, we'll cover the most popular responses in a short answer. And finally, where it's needed, we'll have an explanation about the answer along with some other reasonably popular answers you might see if you posted the question. 
Don't be shy about posting your own questions on Facebook or on IRV2. As many fellow RVers will tell you, there is no stupid question. Now that you've got the background, go check out one of the videos. I'll be posting them as they're made. So either subscribe or come back and check again to see if something new has been posted. See you later.